Hey friends, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here, and I am live here at lunchtime to do a quick, easy Christmas wreath, uh, kind of a last minute thing. I'm super excited this afternoon, or I guess, yeah, it is noontime. Um, we got our last Christmas order in the mail, so I'm so excited about that. Um, so yes, it's in the Lord's hands now, right? It's in the in the hands of USPS. So that was exciting, and so now we're working on other orders that'll ship out after Christmas. So I thought, what better way to celebrate than to do a craft? And um, I have this this cute little grapevine wreath. It's not perfectly round, and that's totally okay. I think that's what I liked about it. I got it at the uh, Dollar General. I've had it for a little bit, and I just have a few other things I grabbed out of my stash. I have a cute little Christmas ornament, E for East. I've got some extra wood beads in case I need them. And then I have this pine cone garland that I got at the Dollar General few weeks ago three bucks and I have this cute bow that I'm gonna recycle it was on a gift that was given to me uh, at a Christmas party here a couple weeks ago and I liked it so I said I love to save the bows and the toppers and all the things so I'm totally gonna recycle this on this little wreath and uh, Anyway, let's get to crafting. I got my hot glue gun fired up, and I thought, you know, I need another little something on my front porch. I have um, a wreath holder. It's like a, a newel post that I put a pretty hanger on, and I hang things on it on the porch. Hey, Shannon, how are you doing today? Um, happy pre-Friday, or technically, it's after lunch, it's technically Friday, right? <laughs> We're just going to stay in the celebratory mode and call it Friday. Um, so anyway, I have this newel post, and anyway, it doesn't have anything on it, so I'm like, I'm going to make this little wreath um, to hang on there. So I'm just cutting the tags off of everything, so see what we can come up with here. Most of these should come off fairly easy. I am not a professional wreath maker, but, well, this one's kind of tied on there. There we go. But we'll see if we can't dress up this little grapevine wreath. And these come this was the only size that they had at the dollar store, the Dollar General. Look, it still has a leaf in it. Can you see that? Um, but I know at Hobby Lobby, they come in all different sizes. So anytime I see these, especially the mini ones, because those are real cute for tons of projects, these are great to have in your, if you have a craft stash, these are great to have because you could just do so many different things with them. So if they're on sale, or if I see a pack of um, little ones or whatever, I'll just grab them up. All right, so now I've got my ornament unwrapped. i got my bow. I want to take apart this garland. Isn't this the cutest little thing? It's just a pine cone, some snowflake ornaments, and little wooden beads on a piece of twine. But we're going to take it apart because we're not going to use it as garland. So I'm gonna unstring it. Hopefully it, yeah, comes apart pretty easy. And we're gonna use these little elements on our wreath. Well, I might leave the rope on that part. I thought I was gonna take the beads off, but I'm thinking I might just do these little sections of rope, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see. We might take it apart in a minute. So we're just kind of cutting this totally apart. Hopefully I can do this quick. Take 
these out and these are just these little snowflake pieces these are just little pieces of cardboard like that are stuck together so we're gonna make a stack of that you could glue I mean like with these little grapevine wreaths the possibilities are just endless of what you can do and I could have gotten these little pine cones out of my yard but for three dollars the Dollar General did it for me and they had all these other cute little pieces so we're just oops be cute oh my gosh I love a good Christmas craft I'm really excited about I've been kind of making a list of all the crafts I want to do for you guys in the coming new year and I've got some really cute ones lined out coming up so y'all make sure, if you're not already, go click those three little dots so you can get notified when we go live. And we'll just have fun together seeing what we can make and come up with. And hopefully, you guys will get inspired to do some DIY stuff of your own to either give away or add to your decor. I um, love giving away these kinds of things and sharing them with others. They're great for gifts, gift toppers, or just to use in my own home. All right, down to the end. Well, this one's kind of this one's got a crazy knot in it. We're going to put that one to the side. So we took apart the garland. We've got two, three, five pine cones, a bunch of cute little snowflakes, and then a bunch of these little rope pieces with two wooden beads on it. And then I've got an ornament. I'm going to add a pretty bow, and then we've got extra wood beads. So I think I want this kind of flat part at the bottom. So I'm just gonna start hot gluing. I think I'm gonna start with a snowflake. I don't know, I didn't really, other than um, say I wanna use this together, I didn't really map out what I was doing. <laughs> so we're just gonna put a dot of glue and we're gonna go for it. I probably need to put that on the snowflake. There we go. And just kind of hold that down. Well, I need to put it on an actual flat surface, Lois. There we go. Just going to have to kind of hold that down. Get our good amount on the pine cone because it's an uneven surface. I'm going to kind of space these apart. You might have to really hold it together to get it on there. I might have to hold on. When in doubt, Add more glue. We'll see. Hold on. I need another glue stick in here. There we go. Don't be afraid to get messy. I'm getting glue everywhere, but that's totally okay. When you're working with uneven surfaces, sometimes you just need a little extra glue. I'm gonna get the big pieces on, the pine cones and the snowflakes, and then we're gonna go back and see about adding 
the rest. Cute. So let me see. I've got a three dollar wreath, a dollar or two dollars for the um, three dollars for the garland, and two dollars for the little grapevine wreath. So a dollar for the E that ornament. So we're under, or we're right at what six bucks? So under ten dollars. And let me tell you, I don't know if you've priced wreaths at any stores, but they're not $6. <laughs> they can get pretty pricey. But you don't have to be professional. That's what I love about arts and crafts. It's just do what you like. Do the colors in your home. Do the things you have on hand. Turn those ordinary items into something beautiful that you can either gift or use and pass down to posterity. I know that I've shared this with you guys before, um, but out of all the beautiful Christmas things that we have and display in our home, all the, the big manicured tree in the um, living room, my favorite is the tree in the dining room that has all the kids handmade ornaments on it handmade stuff is just the best just the best okay now i will say this this is going um under it's going on my porch like it's not going to be exposed like on a front very front door it's going to be under an awning so be careful with pieces like this that you put it kind of on the you know under the porch out of the elements because it's definitely not going to hold up to the elements Cute. It's cute so far. Look at that. How cute is that? We're going to pee. Oops, that one came off. Again, not an even surface, so we just got to put some extra glue and kind of get it in the groove there of where we want it to be. There we go. I roll up my sleeves. Too cute. I love the little snowflakes have the red glitter on them. Can never have enough glitter in my opinion. Sparkle. I think we got room for one more little pine cone right there. Actually, am I putting that there? Hold on, I might change my mind. Actually, I think I gotta leave that open for my bow. Okay, hold on, we're not gonna glue that. We're just winging it, friends, just bear with me. I kind of want it. It's going to have to go like this. But that's cute. Okay. I'm just talking out loud to myself. Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright. I think I want to do this. I think I want to hang the E in the middle. Like that. Do y'all like that? So I think I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that right there so I can kind of get my center together which means I'm not using the flat piece for the bottom but that's okay 
All right, I'm gonna need a stick for this part because I'm gluing the little, <laughs> I guess I could probably, no, there's a knot. I'm gonna put the glue onto my wreath and then just gently lay this in it. Lay the string on there and try to use the stick because hot glue is hot. And I don't wanna get burned today. in there I'm trying to sometimes I use my scissors sometimes I use a popsicle stick whatever's handy just to kind of press that down hold it down till that glue dries there we go all right while that's on there so I can kind of see the center part we're gonna see what we're gonna do with these little guys. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm doing. I think I might just put some hot glue on the end of my snowflake and glue, stick down one of the knots on there, maybe. And then kind of hot glue the other knot down. It kind of gives me a, that's cute. Hey, so I'm kind of having the garland effect without having all that extra string happening. I would have had to cut it anyway because it's um, so uh, it was so long. All right, this one's going to be kind of oddball though because that's okay. We like oddball around here. Well, all right. Y'all have all your Christmas shopping done? All the things, are y'all ready? Like I said, we got our last Christmas order out today, so that was exciting. beads don't want to cooperate I'm just putting a very small dot of glue on there again so as not to burn myself all right we're just kind of filling in these gaps with the little pieces of rope or twine. If I get my stick. This would be cute with buttons too if you had extra buttons. I know I have a button stash. I just for some reason am low on red buttons, believe it or not. Because I was like, oh red one. I didn't have any that would really match. Oops. Well, there you go. I just got hot glue on me. It's inevitable. When you craft, if you don't either get paint on yourself or hot glue, are you really crafting? It's a question for the ages, right? All right. So cute. All right, a couple more little pieces. Is that one long? And, yeah. We'll have to clean up all the wispies when we're done. All right, oops. 
turned it too far. There it goes. Got it. I didn't want to go up right. All right, this is the last one. Well, we have we have a few extra, so we can save these and use these on a different project. Never throw away, because you never know. You're gonna need a little something something on a project, and you'll be like, oh hey, remember those? wood beads from that time we made that garland and there you go you'll be glad you saved them your husband might not be glad but no, just kidding I don't know I don't know that there's a mom in America that doesn't have even even if she doesn't consider herself a crafter right I don't think there's a mom in America that doesn't have some type of stash of art supplies especially if you have um, school-age littles um, you've got some type of stash for school projects and whatnot I know I still have some of the art supplies our oldest is 31 and I still have some of the art supplies from when they were in school all right this is kind of cute I'm liking it so far this is what we have so far isn't that sweet just a Dollar General grapevine wreath a Christmas garland that we took apart and then kind of just pieced it on there and then we have a Dollar General ornament that we hung in the middle, and we're gonna put a bow. And again, this is, I could have made my own little bow. Um, I've got all the ribbons, so we totally could make it. But this is one that I got. It's kind of got smushed, so I just need to fix it a little bit. It's actually like, yeah, hold on. It's got like, this is a little, supposed to lay flat. I got this on a gift. And I don't know, every time I see a pretty bow or I get a gift with a pretty bow, um, I'm saving it. When the kids unwrap presents on Christmas, they hand me their bows because they know, don't throw away the bow, mom's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna wanna reuse that. So don't throw away those pretty bows or gift bags, save those. There's tons of crafts you can um, use uh, gift bags for and bows, or you could totally even just recycle and give that, uh, you know, another, make that another gift wrap. So I am going to snip off the back because it had, um, it was around a box. So we're gonna snip off the tail. And then we're just gonna hot glue that baby. We're gonna save this twine because that's a good chunk of twine so it can go with all the others. And put some hot glue on this. And we're gonna call this good. We're gonna put a generous amount of hot glue because remember we're not glue into a flat surface so i'm gonna stick that up here at the top oh my gosh it's got the little twine piece it's got the green it just really goes with this little grapevine wreath my friend that i got this gift from is not on social media but I'm definitely gonna have to take a picture when we're done and show her this because this is stinking cute. She did a really good job on this bow. So now I'm just pulling that down. I love the little greenery she stuck in there. Um, Y'all, this is gonna be so stinking cute on my front porch. Look at this. Look how cute. Isn't that the sweetest? I'm trying to hold my E still. Isn't that the sweetest thing? It's under 10 bucks. <laughs> 
Te uh, grapevine. I mean, it was all from the Dollar General. The garland had the pine cones and the snowflakes on it. It was three bucks. And um, the wreath was, I think, two dollars. This little ornament was a dollar. Um, and this was recycled. So, six bucks for this cute little Christmas wreath. So go run to your Dollar General and see what they have left in their Christmas section. I know I was in there today because I ran out of shipping tape and had to fly in there before I brought that last package to the post office. And uh, they already are discounting like 50% off Christmas stuff. So go check it out. Even if you don't use it this Christmas, put it in the stash for next year. So I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out on my Lunchtime Live. And until I see you again, happy crafting. And have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.